My five kids are taken off me due to the police and the um, DCP. Yeah, they have me on basic card um, to, um, in the victim from my house. Plus, um, we the court on the same day to see the police. And um, they had to have my children removed from me. And now they've got my teenage kid out on the streets, homeless, yeah, not going to school. They said that I wasn't their carer. But yeah, um, I'm going to go to counselling because of this. Um, I'd rather go of the, um, the trauma. Um, yeah, that they done to me. But yeah, it's pretty sad, eh? Yeah. Yep. See, once a week, yeah, let alone them, my um, family's care. But it's still, um, yeah, pretty hard to get over it. My nan was a school teacher, 26 years. So yeah, we all got brought up pretty good. And um, for this to happen, yeah, it's very terrible. Oh. And plus being on basic card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty shame, yeah. And um, yeah, and still get your kids taken off you, so I don't know what's with that. Um, what else? <laughs> yeah, first time I'm laughing. Rosemary is my name, and Audrey's my niece. Um, Mum is in the wheelchair. 25 years plus um, school teacher. First five Aboriginal teachers in WA. In education. So um, she's been around the communities, she knows a lot of the people, Mrs Ward, Jukla and all the families and we do have the support and we're supporting all the communities, not only in WA but all around Australia. Um, so Audrey was kicked out of her house and she can't get her kids back until she has, um, you know, proper housing. So what was the, where's the brain in that? Uh, they gave her like a $35,000 tenant liability for the, after getting kicked out. Terrible. Which is, you know, if you don't appeal it, you get stuck with it. Um, our surname is Rowe, where's fifth generation John Septimus Rowe. Might tell you all, but, um, you know, Wodgell is there. Where's our support with the non-Aboriginal family, but... Everyone's strong, we stick together. Our family's a strong family. Um, my nephew was 11 when he suicided in Carnarvon. It's very sad. Things haven't changed, really. So what are we gonna do about it, you know? Yeah, and we need to stop fighting each other for a start because we all got similar stories. Colonization and the impact of what's happening. You know, Mike? It all leads, you know, it's all the cycle. Um, my children just got booted out of the school because uh, they didn't like me um, voicing my opinion as a mother. My God. The school is in an um, area where there's middle class, well, you know, riches, put it this way, under the Barnett government in his area. So. I just can't understand what's going on. And yet, like some of these Aboriginal people that work in these positions, they need to snap out of it. You know? Stop being like the coconuts and stuff. We've been, been through a lot. And, um, Stop being judgmental. Yeah. So, you go to Equal Opportunity, what do they do? Nothing. Equal Opportunity. They put you up against a, a lawyer. A black lawyer up against a professional lawyer out of the WA government. <laughs> Bloody hell, you've got DCP lawyers in the children's court, or he's going through the children's court. Children's court. <coughs> They've got appointed um, lawyers there, but they support DCP. We come here looking for mum's history or a stolen generation. We've got to put in for freedom of information applications. 30 bucks an application. We're still trying to find her connection to country. 
2015 now and you know I know there's a lot of people out there non-Aboriginal that support you know the Indigenous Australian people but we really need to come together to stop all the BS <laughs> and um, you know thank you all for this and we're all together.